Hey, what's up guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Friday. I'm actually on vacation, on my mancation, guys. Every year I go away with my college buddies to the Santa Cruz, California area by the beach, and we uh, hang out for the first weekend of March Madness. So, uh, came up last night, uh, was up late till about 2 in the morning, got up early, went to breakfast. I didn't eat, right? I got my ketones, my amino acids, of course. I, I'm sticking to my routine, even when on vacation. Uh, so I didn't eat breakfast with the guys, they ate, came back, watching the games, and so I had some time, so I decided to give me a workout in. Give me a little workout in, so I brought my dumbbells, got my dumbbells, right? Got my dumbbells, came outside, did a uh, quick workout, quick workout. Um, it's rainy, uh, but it don't matter, right? I wanna still work out, give me a little workout in. Uh, and so, people say I'm crazy about my training, about my, my fitness, my regimen, and that I'm, I'm super disciplined or I'm just overly um, dedicated or overly um, motivated. And the truth of the matter is, um, this, it's who I am, right? I don't even look at it as, as something I do, right? Or, or being hard or being challenging, just like many of you don't think twice about being a good father, being a good mother, being a good uh, employee, being a good brother, son, teammate, whatever it is. Um, it's just part of who I am. And so I thought about it, and it's why I, I've been successful in my life, right? I'm not overly smart. I'm not overly uh, talented. I'm not overly gifted physically. Uh, but there are certain things I have that have made me successful. And I began thinking about it this, this week, or last week, because my, my father came by my, my class. He was driving down to, uh, you know, past where I live, past where I hold my boot camp. He was driving down to Monterey, where we used to live, and where he still banks, right? And two hours from his house, he still banks. So he was driving down uh, to, the, to, the, to the bank, and he came by to say hi, and I had a, had a check for him came by my class, right? My dad's 76, right? Popped in, um, I said hi to him, the class saw him. Who is that, who is that? Oh, it's my dad, oh, Mr. Blueford. You know, and, and those who know my dad, he always, he always fitted, right? He came in, sport coat, uh, pocket square, you know, shades on. You know, I, you know, I, you know, I rarely see my dad. And, and my whole life, I've, I've, I've probably seen him 10 times, not neat. Right, whether it's a T-shirt, whether it's his his army fatigues, whether it's his um, correctional officer uniform, always tidy, always neat, always ironed, always shoot shine. That's how he is. And so, um, you know, they began talking about him. My class did about, you know, you must get all that from him. Your discipline and your drive. And I thought about it, um, and they all think that I get my 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 passion and my drive. What's up, S. Rich? Woo! Hey, I'm, I'm hanging out with Sean, Sean Parker and the guys. Um, uh, so they think I get, that I get all that from my, you know, from, from my dad, and I do. But the more I thought about it, the more I thought about the real stuff that my parents gave me, right? My dad, did, my, my dad barely finished high school, so I didn't get my intelligence from him. My mom, I'm not, I'm not even sure she finished high school. Neither of them are, are athletically gifted. My dad was super skinny, my mom, was, was overweight most of her life until she passed away. So, um, but they gave me some stuff, right, inside of me that makes me who I am, right? And because of who I am, I've gotten to where I am in life. And so I thought about it more and more and more. And for example, my dad, my dad was in the military for, for 23 years, army. He was in, he was a correctional officer, officer for 24 years, I believe. And I have never in my life, not once, heard my dad say he's tired. Not once. Not once have I heard my dad say he's tired at all. So, and it came up because I thought about it because my class, when they walk in, I say, how you doing? And they know I have a rule. Don't tell me you're tired. Don't tell me it's Monday. Don't tell me, oh, I'm here. Because the body language dictates how you react to whatever's next, right? If you go into a, a, a test and you're like, oh my God, I, I think I'm ready. You ain't ready, 
right? If you go into a fight, right, you know, whether it's a boxing fight or a real fight and, you, and you're timid, you ain't ready, right? If you go into a football game, right, Mike? If you go into a football game and you ain't prepared mentally and, 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 and have, have, have a passion about yourself and a demeanor, then you can't win. And so whatever I tell them, I say, look, you have to walk into the workout, whether it's my boot camp or your workout, with a demeanor that tells your brain, I'm here and I mean business. So I don't allow them to do that. And I tell them, look, do you think I'm always ready to come here and work out and train you guys? No, I can, I'm up at 4 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. There's no way I can be rested all the time, but I owe it to you. I owe it to my class to come ready to go. And so it's about demeanor. It's about attitude. It's about body language. And they taught me that. I, I, I tell you, I have never in my life heard my dad say he's tired. Right, ever. And he drove from, from here to Texas to, to see my sister, and he drove only because my, my, my niece wanted to see our dog. So he didn't fly, he drove for her. Drove nonstop, didn't stop at a, at a hotel, stopped at a rest stop to go to the bathroom with, with the dogs, but drove straight through 18 hours. Right, I saw him, he had already washed his car, had already waxed his car. Right, didn't show any sign of being tired. Right, I ain't never seen him tired. Or, or act tired, or, or, let, or say he's tired. So I got that from him, my demeanor, the way I walk, the, the way I represent myself as a brand. That's who I am, right? So, so I don't work out hard because I want to be fit necessarily. I work out hard because that's who I am. That's my DNA, right? Michael would tell you, I train like this. I was by myself out here for the last hour and a half. All my boys is in the house, right? I love them to death. I was out here by myself training right i tell my 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 students that battle you have with your dream with your goal with your vision whether it's to lose weight whether it's to go out and and get an mba or a master's degree whether it's to play college football or basketball or be a doctor that dream or goal or vision right is accompanied by some help right some teachers some coaches some some siblings some parents some friends people who encourage and push you but most of that battle most of that fight most of that journey is one on one it's you against you right most of that that battle most of that journey of you against your dream is you against you is one on one so so that's how I am that's my DNA that's how I'm built so I've been out here for an hour and a half in the rain Right, my boys is chilling, eating, watching, uh, watching basketball. That's all good. I still love them, and they know me. Right, they know me. I'm out here. I brought dumbbells as, uh, on the first day that I'm here. I work out. That's what I do. Right, one hour to me. One out of twenty-four hours is mine. Right, dedicated to me and, and my health. Right, so if you can't give your, your your body and your health an hour out of every day, then you ain't you ain't fully committed to that relationship. Right, but 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 I but I digress. So so that's who I am. So it's not hard for me to study a little longer or stay up late. It's not hard for me to stay up, you know, one, two, three hours trying to figure out one little part of, of a balance sheet in accounting or one little formula of Excel because I want to get it right, right? Or it's, it's not, it's not, it's not uh, hard for me to stay up late to do 10 more sprints because I told myself I'd do 100 sprints when I, when I was in, in sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth, whatever it was, or do 100 push-ups. It ain't hard for me because it's who I am. Right? So I got where I am fitness-wise because of who I am. I got where I am academically because of who I am. Right, Kim? Because of who I am. So that's, that, that's the problem that we have. Right? When we look at why we're falling short of our journey, of our goal, of our, of our vision, oftentimes it's not because we don't have the tools. Right? We don't have the right books to study. We don't have access to the right tutorials or the right people or the right workout or the right diet, whatever. We don't have access to, we have the right access. We don't have the right mentality, the right demeanor, the right approach to it. Right? We aren't where we are because we aren't the right person. Right? We aren't where we are because of who we are. That's the reason, right? So I'm where I am in certain things in my life because of who I am. Right. And where I fall short, right, where I'm not where I want to be, that's also because of who I am. Right. I'm not I'm not making millions of dollars doing this because of my insecurities, because of who I am. Right. So, yes, I made it. I'm doing well in fitness because inside of me, I have a, I have a, I have a drive, uh, a passion to be by myself and push through stuff. As Artemis would tell you, back at UC Davis. Right. I have the vision to do that. Right. I have the passion to do that. Right. But there's certain areas right where I'm, where I'm falling short. And so I'm not 
the, the fitness mogul I can be because of who I am. And so I can't just take the positive parts and say, yeah, you know, like you guys, some of you guys are successful financially. And you can, you can pat yourself on the back and be happy about where you are. Yeah, I made it to, to an executive or senior VP or I bought a house up on the hill up here or I made this many zeros in my bank account because of who I am. Yes, yes. But you're also overweight because of who you are. Right? You can't have one without the other. Right? So wherever we are in our, in our, in our journey toward our goal, toward our vision, it ain't because of the tools. Right? It's because of our heart and our demeanor and our approach. So we are where we are in life because of who we are in life. It's as simple as that, right? So think about where you are, right? Where you are. And you have something in your life, I know, that that ain't right with you, that you want to be better at, right? We all do, right? You might have financial success, but your, but your health is bad. You might have good health, but you have bad relationships. Whatever it is, we all have something that we're falling short. And, and if you look at it harshly and critically, and honestly, right, it has nothing to do with everybody else, like you say it does. It has nothing to do with schooling or, or access or time in the day or, or, or whatever excuses you use. What it has to do with who you are in regards to that journey, in regards to that vision, in regards to that goal. It ain't about them. It ain't about the books. It ain't about the academics or, or, or the schooling or the tools or the workout or the diet. It's about who you are. Who you are inside. That's it. And so I'm honest about it. Right? I know that 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 I didn't come from a DNA that makes it easy to be fit. I know I earned this. I know I'm where I am physically because of who I am. I know where I where, where I am, where I was in, in, in professional in the professional world I, and, and academics. I know I was there too because of who I am. But I also know where I am in terms of my business now and my brand and my fitness. I also know that I, that I am where I am there because of who I am and who I'm not, right? And where I need to get better at who I am, right? And so the beauty of it is we can start getting better at who we are from now, right? There was a time as, 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 as recently as last year, I couldn't do this. I couldn't do a video with my boys in the back in the house afraid they might come out and hear me talking. But I'm past that, man, I'm past that. So, so who I am is different, right? So who I am is different. So maybe now I can be who I should be. I can be where I should be, right? Maybe you can be where you should be if you change who you are right now and be who you should be, right? Simple as that. If you wanna be where you should be, you need to be who you should be, right? You can't be fit and be lazy. Right? If where you want to be is fit, where you're at and where you at and who you are can't be lazy. Right? Can't be given into every temptation there is, food wise, laziness wise, sleeping in. Right? You can't be you can't be where you want to be academically if who you are is somebody who hates studying or hates staying up late or hates trying something that's challenging. Right? To be where you want to be, right? Going to grad school, you gotta change who you are. Right? Who, you, who you are needs to be somebody who embraces studying, who embraces staying up late, who embraces challenge. Right? You can't be who you want to be or where you want to be in terms of uh, uh, having a nice figure and a six-pack abs and nice legs all that stuff, and, and, and not change who you currently are. Somebody who has to eat and enjoy every minute of every day. Right? So you are where you are. It's simple. Because of who you are, right? We are all where we are in our lives, financially, academically, spiritually, relationships, health-wise. We are where we are because of who we are. So change who you are, right? Address it. Change it. And you begin to change where you are now and where you're going, right? It ain't easy. I know it ain't easy. I know it ain't easy, right? I'm here on my vacation. I just worked out to make sure my brand is right. Right now I'm doing something that, I, that, that I'm getting better at, but until now I've been afraid to do. I've been afraid to fix. Right, So where I want to be, the guy who you, who you look to for inspiration and motivation, who you call upon to talk to your schools, talk to your kids, talk to your teams. Right, That's where I wanted to be. That's where I wanted to be. But who I was was somebody who was scared to do that. 
So I had to change who I was to be where I want to be. It's simple. It's simple. You want to get fit? Then eat right. Oh, but I can't eat right. Then don't get fit. Stop, stop wanting to be fit. Stop wanting to be where fitness is, where big arms is, is, where nice abs is. Stop wanting to be there if you don't change who you are. But I want to get a, I want a master's degree. Really? Really? But you party every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The time when you need to make up work. Right? So where you want to be is graduate school, but who you are is somebody who wants to party. So you got to change one of, either, either change where you want to be or change who you are. It's simple. Right? I always say, I'm not, I'm not saying you should want that. I'm not saying you should want to be fit. I'm not saying you should want to be a millionaire. I'm not saying you should want to have, to have degrees behind your name. But what I'm saying is if you do, oftentimes you got to change who you are. Right? So before you guys start, you know, talking about, oh, he's lucky, he's fit. No, I'm not where I am because I'm special. I'm not where I am because I know some secret formula for working out or studying or grinding. No, I have access to the same shit you have access to. The difference is I'm different in here than you are. In that realm, right? You're different than me in other areas that you beat me at. But here and what I do here, I'm different in here and here. And my mindset, my demeanor, my branding, who I am inside. So I'm, I'm, I'm where I am in terms of, of, of my fitness because of who I am. I'm on vacation working out. Do you do that? Right, I fasted today, like I do every day, even on vacation, even though my, my boys had breakfast. Do you do that? Right? So people talk to you about what, what you have in life, relationship, money, cars, and they say you're lucky and you get mad at them because they didn't do what you did because you were different, because you studied more. Or you spent more time with your kids or your wife or your husband, whatever it is, so you built that. Right? So, so in that realm, you are where you are because of who you are. So apply that to everything else. Stop making excuses why you ain't fit. Stop making excuses why you ain't rich. Making excuses why you ain't signed that deal yet or got that promotion. Stop making excuses. Because at the end of the day, we are all where we are because of who we are. Very simple. All right, guys, I got to go. I've been out here for two hours working out. Um, I love you guys. Have a good day. Uh, I'll, get, I'll get at you, Artemis. I'm sorry, buddy. Um, but, yeah, stay up, guys. Stay safe. And every day, just try to get better, guys. You know, it don't take much time, right? It's, uh, I tell my kids, it's, it's a fine line between good and average and average and great. So it's a fine line, right? It's, it's one more hour. It's one more sprint. One more hour of studying. One more hour working out. One more rep. One more minute of pain. That's it. It's small. It's small, right? So the difference is, are you willing to go the extra minute, the extra hour of studying, the extra bit of pain to be great? All right, guys, I love you. Have a good weekend. Stay safe, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.